Today we want to show you how to take a brand new piece of furniture and add 250 years of aging to that, replicating the authentic markings of a true antique. Looking at the edge wear and how we're able to create that and make it look like something that actually happened over time. Here are the materials you will need to complete this project. This is an example of the edge wear treatment that we're going to reproduce. Using this panel, which has already been treated with our natural wood stain. We're going to take away all the newness, all the sharpness using a couple common tools. First thing is to make sure that we show areas of wear. We do that with a simple scraper, a paint scraper, and literally just take away some of the newness. Again, all we're doing is removing the newness from this wood, adding imperfection. Remembering that all of these markings and all the details will be magnified many, many times once the finish is applied. Another tool is a wood rasp. And a wood rasp makes some unusual markings, but it also removes wood very cleanly. It makes it look like something that's been scraped. It's excellent to work on the edges with. Again, we don't want to round the edges. We simply want to soften. This is nothing more than adding wear that would have naturally happened over the last 150 years of use. As would be common with any antique, there's gonna be times when you have nicks and damages that happen to the piece of furniture. And to replicate that, you can take a chisel and simply insert it into the wood and do a simple chip out. So it looks like something that accidentally hit the piece of furniture over the course of time. Again, on the molding, and don't worry about that because this is actually what we're looking for. We're looking for things that look natural. We don't want to overdo this. One thing that we like to do for edge wear is use several tools and use each tool sparingly. Now, once we've created this look and we feel comfortable with the amount of wear, we want to follow up with sandpaper. Again, we don't want to remove any of the integrity of the markings that we made. We simply want to soften. Don't take away any of the look, just soften the edges. Now without rounding the edges, we simply want to soften the edges. We want to soften those corners, take away the newness. And that adds not only a look, but it adds a certain feel, a certain feel of age. The very last thing, Using a rock, a simple rock, do a method that we call bump and slide. What we want to avoid is creating a pattern on the edges. So again, this is something that would have happened over the course of time with things that would bump and ding into the piece of furniture. Simply by keeping the rock in continuous motion, work along the edges. Anywhere that natural wear would occur, continually moving the rock around in your hand, concentrating mainly along the edges. Now you have a great feel. The second thing is, is to take the rock and create just a couple dings and dents on the surface. If you can follow up again by just lightly scuff sanding in the direction of the grain to remove any of the nibs and prepare the surface for finishing. Red wipe the wood stain so that we can see the level of physical aging that we applied to the edges. Again, we want to apply this liberal, allowing for the stain to penetrate. Make sure that we get it in all the grooves and crevices. It can be applied with a lint-free cloth or it can be applied with a brush. I personally use both so that I can make sure that I get the stain in all the crevices, all the markings. Make sure we get the edges. And then we want to give that a few minutes for the stain to have an opportunity to penetrate into the wood and enhance the grain. I'll just make sure that all the edges have been treated with the wood stain. Everything is covered. 
The wood stain will give us beautiful results in one coat. It dries very quickly before poly. We can achieve maximum color by just giving it a few minutes to penetrate. We've given the stain a couple minutes to penetrate. Now we want to wipe. Wipe in the direction of the grain in a circular motion to even everything out, but always finish up wiping in the direction of the grain. Wipe the edges, and immediately we can see how all the distressing markings show up. Make sure that we remove all the fingerprints. The markings that we created with the wood rasp look like where something had scraped up against the surface. The edges are rolled, they're softened slightly. You can see the chip out that was created earlier. It looks very authentic. Beautiful technique.